Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Lean Media and the Lean Media video channel available at leanmedia.org. Today, I'm going to be talking about managing your inventory on Amazon Seller Central using a tool called Inventory Age. And this is a pretty important um, way for you to be able to discern how much inventory you may need to ship into Amazon Seller Central if you're using Amazon FBA. And if you're watching this video, I assume you are doing this. Now, a lot of people, uh, the way that they handle inventory is they'll just order something from the manufacturer. And then as soon as it comes in, they'll just ship it all in to um, Amazon's uh, fulfillment centers. But uh, sometimes you need to really figure out how much you're going to need to order from your manufacturers or your suppliers, or if you're doing it yourself, uh, create on your own. Uh, just basically to anticipate demand. And inventory age provides an easy way to do that. So let's go to Amazon Seller Central. This is the professional level um, selling program for people that want to use Amazon FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. If you don't see this when you log into sellercentral.amazon.com, you probably have the free version, which does not give you access to Amazon FBA. And um, therefore, this, this advice won't be very much use to you. But if you want to start selling through Amazon FBA, you can use this too. So go to Amazon Seller Central, click on Inventory, and then Inventory Planning. Now, when you come to this page, uh, it'll say Seller's Guide to Healthy Inventory. Find the tools you need to help minimize costs, increase sales, and improve your performance. Okay, that's great. Um, and it will give you kind of a high-level overview of things that Amazon thinks you should be paying attention to. And certainly... Uh, some of them you should be paying attention to. So if it says excess units 177, this means that maybe on some of the SKUs that you have, you have too you have too much inventory stored at Amazon, and you didn't plan very well. Although what I found is that oftentimes these excess units are for new products you've launched, and they just haven't sold as well as you thought, or you haven't really kicked off the marketing for it. Um, <clears throat> if you go down, it'll get, it'll have this category called restock inventory, and it says restock these products to prevent lost sales. So it's saying it's saying that um, okay for this this one product here uh, you've sold uh, keeps on jumping like that um, you've sold 35 units you have uh, 53 days of supply and you should order 728. I do not trust these particular uh, recommendations because oftentimes uh, first of all it's it's not a human being who's evaluating everything they use an algorithm yes sometimes algorithms can be accurate but sometimes algorithms can be totally inaccurate and what these algorithms do I found is Amazon uh, will see, oh, you sold uh, 25 units three months ago, 50 units uh, two months ago, and 75 units uh, last month. So this means next month you're going to sell 100, and then the month after that, 125. And so they basically extrapolate kind of in a linear fashion how, how growth is taking place. And I've done things like, oh, Amazon's telling me I should order 3,000 of these uh, items and, and stock them and send them in. And then all of a sudden, it basically what happens is you've kind of reached the maximum you can sell, and and then you're you're out of luck, and you have either a lot of inventory you can't sell, or it's going to take a long time to, uh, to to work it through, or you have to start using other channels, which is not a bad thing. Um, but anyways, let's get back to inventory age. Inventory age is one of these is on the inventory dashboard. It's like this, uh, basically like a you know quiet little tab over here, and you click on it, and you come to this particular page. Um, Let's get rid of this message here. And basically what it's doing is it's showing all the items you have in FBA. And then it's showing you some metrics of metrics that are associated with it. So for instance, for this item, there's 457 um, units available right now. That means 457 units in Amazon's fulfillment centers. And then it says units sold in last 90, 90 days, the sell-through rate, your price, and some other metrics. The interesting metric here actually isn't what's displayed you know, as a default, but what's displayed when you when you hover over the units sold? And look at this. It's showing me the units sold in the last seven days, 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. And this is really, really helpful because it lets me see roughly what what how how the uh, how the demand is some some of the demand trends and the sales trends. So right now I can see. All right, I've sold 30 I, I, in the last 30 days. I've sold 136 of this particular unit. But in the last 60 days, 306, and then 90 days, 453. Now, if you do a little bit of math in your head, you can actually see what kind of the, the trend that's taking place. So in the 60 days and 90 days, it's roughly about 150 per month um, that, that have been selling. But actually, in the last 30 days, it's 136 per month. So this means that the sales level has been going down. 
and you may be thinking, well, um, I have 457, so let's say it, it, you can just do some division. So 133 into 457, that's roughly you know 3.5 months left. Um, yes, but then you also have to take into account, well, actually the holidays are coming up, and everybody knows on Amazon holidays are are you know that's that's when the opportunity for big sales take place. Uh, so you may be needed to, to planning not only on what the sales trend is here, which is going slightly down, but also what is going to be popping up in just a few months when the holidays uh, start appearing. So I predict, I pred what I predicted actually is uh, based on the number that are available, the trend here, the fact that holidays are coming up, and also I have a limited number in inventory in my warehouse, um, I still need to order a lot more. And in fact, I placed an order for about 800 of these items uh, recently because I, I'm planning to sell most of them during the holiday period. Plus, I want to have some left over for the early part of the next year uh, so, those can sell, so those can sell through too. So you see, you see what I'm doing? I'm not just planning um, based on you know, what this trend shows or what Amazon shows me is a trend, but I'm also planning ahead to, to periods where I know there's peak activity and also planning ahead to after the, the peak activity because the worst thing that can happen is actually you run out of inventory um, and then there's nothing to sell. And that's when Amazon starts uh, deranking your search results. And, uh, you know, of course, people won't be buying things because there's nothing to buy. And maybe if you're uh, producing overseas, especially, you might have a long time before you can get that back in stock. So this is a really cool tool to anticipate, uh, basically anticipate when things might run out and when you need to restock. And you have to kind of use your common sense a little bit. It's not just what the raw numbers are showing. Like, let's like, take a look at this one. Okay, so in the past 30 days, I sold about one per day, but in the past seven days, only three. So this is another one where sales are going down, uh, but there's only 66 in stock. So that should last for at least another couple months. But again, the holidays are coming up. So I'm I, have some, I have some in my own warehouse. I'm going to send some more uh, boxes in of this one. And I basically go down the line here, uh, usually in around September or October uh, before the holiday period to see the inventory age, what, how trends are shaping up. And then I'll do this a couple times throughout the year just to see, you know, how quickly or how slowly something's selling. And remember that you have uh, levers that you can use to make something sell more. And namely, that is uh, promotions, advertising. These are all through Amazon Seller or through um, Amazon Advertising. So you can kind of bump up the traffic, uh, bump, bump up the traffic to those pages and hopefully bump up the sales. But remember, there's a cost associated with that as well. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of Amazon Seller, um, or other Amazon programs, including Amazon advertising, go to leanmedia.org. I have this video channel, including a special deep dive for publishers, uh, pl but the YouTube channel's there as well. And that's basically free videos talking about all this stuff. And then I have a book where I've written about how to make great media. Uh, for more information, go to leanmedia.org. Thank you so much for watching.